Hi there, it's Wayne here from Deep Blue Apps. Uh, I've got another template to demonstrate for you today. It's the Tower Blocks uh, template that we originally did for Game Salad. Uh, we've just finished porting it over to the Corona SDK. Um, so yeah, let's jump straight in and give you a demonstration of this template in action. Okay, so splash screen you saw a moment ago. Then you get the touch to start. Uh, basic instructions, you put your instructions here. Um, obviously, we just have to build up the blocks as high as we can get. So, touch the screen. Okay, so what you see is the blocks going left to right. Basically, we have to get them all stacked up nicely on top of each other. Tap the screen, and they fall down. The camera moves up. I'm doing very well. So, as I'm doing this, you'll notice there's a timer at the top, counting down from 60 seconds down. Obviously, in the template, you can actually set whatever time you want on that. Um, in this full level here, there's 27 blocks going all the way up to the top. Um, you've got to try and get. And if you don't, oh, there you go, it falls over. So you can build a lot of different games from this template. The Sheep Stacker template, for example, or the Tau Blocks game. Um, tap to restart. Um, so yeah, lots of different games you can actually build from this. Uh, mini games or full games. Add more modes to it as well if you wanted to. For example, set targets. Um, or better or different rather timer uh, um, achievements. Another option down here, just turn this on and off. It just shows the guides and what the hazards are. So it just helps you when you're dropping your blocks. So drop them here. Oh, yeah, not very good at that. Here we go, we'll give it another go. Um, you'll notice how fast this block's moving here. The more the time ticks down, it does gradually get faster and faster and faster. So obviously the higher and higher you get, the later blocks will be quite hard to um, get in position. Just adds more to the challenge. Now I've turned it on so I can see the guides. Obviously in your game you could have a setting. Uh, again it's all controllable from the lower code, easy to turn on and off, a few billion statements for that. Um, so yeah, the faster and faster it gets, the harder and harder it gets. Um, also in the code, while we've done this, building the blocks up, we've actually got nine different blocks and in the code we work out um, first ten blocks are going to be a random selection of these brown blocks then the next ten will be where are we six seven eight there we go nine rather than then we get nine of these golden blocks and then a bit later on we get more random blocks as well obviously for your game you could have whatever images you wanted um, one other thing I'll just point out, the physics objects on here, I've actually got the physics um, bounded area just a couple of pixels smaller than the object just to help it sit snugly when it falls. Again if you add, I don't know, animals, birds, cakes, Halloween masks, whatever it is you've got falling down, you can easily shape, change the shape of the bounding box here. Um, and also in the game you can change the gravity, how quickly things fall, how quickly things move, how quickly it multiplies based on the time. So. Very flexible, lots of options. Um, yeah, so download your copy today. Get building the next tower block sheet stacker type game. Um, hope you enjoy it. Thanks a lot.